Conservatives are offended by the normalization of pedophilia that's taking place and the child sex trafficking pandemic that the media is barely covering. Liberals are getting offended by a syrup label and beans. We are not the same. We have what I believe is a significant law enforcement announcement to make today. Starting in the wee hours of this morning, the brave men and women in law enforcement effectuated the arrest of 10 MS-13 members or close associates thereof who stand charged with the sex trafficking of a minor under the age of 14. One of the alleged gang members, Carlos Villatoro, an 11th defendant, is charged with violent crimes in aid of racketeering. Let me make clear, these individuals are charged with heinous offenses, but just like any other defendant, they're entitled to and deserve the presumption of innocence until they're proven otherwise. Just keep in mind that we're the ones most outspoken about child trafficking, which is modern day slavery, and your side is spending your time canceling syrup bottles and destroying cities. This is going down right now. Right, as of today, there's officially 182,771 sealed indictments about to be unsealed. Over 21,000 unsealed. And a breathtaking over 409,000 non-sealed indictments for child trafficking and pedophilia. The list is very long. However, first up on the list is none other than Democratic Illinois State Representative Keith Farnham, which has officially resigned, no surprise there, and he has officially been charged with possession of child pornography and has been caught online bragging how he sexually molested a six-year-old girl. These are the people that has been running our country. Thank you very much for being with us today as we signed this crucial legislation to combat online sex trafficking and bring criminals to justice. Uh, the people behind me have been working on this long and hard. Where trafficking in the world is more now than it ever has been ever in the history of the world. And you wouldn't believe that. But trafficking is probably worse today than at any time in history. To lose your child who has been trafficked, which is modern day slavery in our country. Thank you, Mr. President. Keep in mind that we're the ones most outspoken about child trafficking, which is modern day slavery, and your side is spending your time canceling syrup bottles and destroying cities.